Hey guys, welcome back to Splash Attack. So today I'm going to be opening up 40 packs of Ixalan. And this is going to be my largest opening yet because I've never opened this many packs in one sitting. So I'm going to try my best to be quick. Um, life is too short for commons, right? So I'm going to zoom right through them and I'm going to get to the rares and to the uncommons. Sorry, that was the other way around. To the uncommons and then to the rares so that it doesn't take forever. Also, in this set, I mean, like, everything is just... Well, not everything, but, like, the top cards are, like, Search for Escanta. That's almost, like, $19 now. Carnage Tyrant's almost 18 again. Vraska's Content has... Contempt has uh, made its way to $15. I mean, it's the best removal there is, right? And then uh, we also have very... Very like uh very good cards that aren't super well they it's it's pretty expensive, six dollars for settle the wreckage which is a rare and that's used in control decks, I face many of them, and uh, we also have unclaimed territory an uncommon that's like four bucks that which is insane, um, yeah and then there are a lot of other really good stuff to pull in this set so I hope you guys wish me luck and let's get into it so what you see here are packs of 10 and these are separated from the fat packs that came from just so just so that it's not like when we pull like maybe we'll know like if one fat pack came with like four or five mythics you know that has happened to me where i pulled three mythics out of one fat pack so it's possible but let's start with this one so we'll just quickly just kind of first pack magic right gotta get the magic I should have brought a pair of scissors. That's what I should have done. Got it. Alright, so let's go through everything real quick. Alright, now we got to the, the uncommons. Alright. Stormfleet Storm Aerialist. Wanted Scoundrel. Lurking Chuka Chupacabra. And then we have a Priest of the Waking Sun. And then we are moving on to the next pack. So let's get a pile started. We have our commons here, our uncommons here, and then our rares over here. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Looks like that's a sign to make a white dino deck. But it'll probably be Naya. White alone with another color can't really do as much, I don't think. So, let's see. Would it be like this for the uncommons? No. It would be like this, right? So, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to the front. Okay. So, our first... Yeah, that's right. So, our first uncommon is Wanted Scoundrel. A Zokin Archer. Dire Fleet Captain, and our rare of the pack is a Sunbird Invocation. And then we got one of those random foils. And that would be it. Oh, and Opt is a very worthy mention, because Opt is still like a dollar, right? Okay, so we'll put that here. We'll put the noticeable commons, I guess. Let's just take a quick look to see if there are any commons that are worthy of mentioning because op is one of those nothing else we'll move on what do we have here one two three four five six seven okay if we do it this way we're gonna know that we got a Escanta, Wild Grove Walker, very nice, Savage Stomp, Fiery Cannonade, and a Star Extinction. This is amazing. I'm getting all the stuff that I uh, never got before. Sweet. And then let's quickly look through and see. Oh, New Horizon, pretty cool. Unknown Shores and stuff like that. So the comments go here. Oh, oh that's a Mythic Rare. Okay. So we got a Mythic. If it's not looking like a planeswalker or creature, I usually don't notice that's a mythic. It's terrible, I know, but yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sweet. 
Wild Grove Walker, Perilous Voyage, Char, of course. So our primal amulet, amulet. What does it do? Instant and sorcery spells cost one less. That's awesome. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, put one charge counter on primal amulet. Then if you, oh, this is a flip. Add one mana of any color when this mana is spent instant sorcery. Copy that spell. You may choose a new target for that copy. Wow, double, double trouble. Nice. So our uncommons, our rare, and then anything worth. How much is Unknown Shores? I don't know. I always get it confused with Unclaimed Territory sometimes, which I am really hoping to pull some of. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sweet. Just to make sure. Yep. That's six to the front. So, Uncommon Rallying Roar, Airless Voyage. Imperial Aerial Source, and then a Fleet Swallower. So that was a really, really sad pack. I believe this comes in like one of the decks, so it's nothing to write home about. And then we have our uncommons here, and then let's keep moving. Just keep moving, just keep moving, just keep moving and moving and moving. Awesome, awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six to the front. And then we have a belligerent Brontodon. Lightning Rig Crew. River Sneak. Sweetness. And then we have a Raskus Content. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Yes. Hi there, Raska. How you doing, girl? Sweet, sweet, sweet. Rask is content. Hello. So she's about a $12 card. 10 to 12 at least. I would have had three, but I traded one. I traded her and Angrath. She was 10 at the time, kind of, and Angrath was 5, so I traded it. I traded it. <laughs> no, I traded her for um, a Carnage Tyrant that I needed for my deck. So this has been a pretty awesome box so far. Okay, so let's move on. Rask is content. Wow. I remember in my first box, I got like the most insane pulls. I got like Carnage Tyrant, Search for Ascanta, and all of that stuff. Three, four, five, six to the front. We have Dark Nourishment just to make sure. Oh, yep, I messed up. So six to the front, or seven sometimes. Favorable Winds, Dark Nourishment, Tempest Caller, and we have an Emperor's Vanguard. Ooh, a Foil Mountain. Definitely nice. And let's see if we got anything good in the deck. Oh, commune with dinosaur. I need that for my dinos. And okay. I'll put that here. Put that there. Getting a lot of stuff that I need for my merfolks. I was trying to decide between Ixalan or Rivals of Ixalan. And my magic community on Amiibo Amino. Almost said Amiibo for some reason. On Amino told me to do rivals but I was just I just couldn't find rivals anywhere I don't know why like a new set is so hard to come by and I didn't want to get it at Target or any any of those big chains because you know I want to support local game stores one two three four five six to the front and then just make sure yep vicious conquistador marauding rooter walk the plank is awesome and then we have a maverin fiend Dusk Apostle. Nice. And let's just quickly look through. Siren Lookout seems like a cool card. And his flying, which is awesome. Blinding Fog. Man, never seen that before. Okay, so we have our rare. And then this is going to be the last two packs. So let's just try to speed this up. 40 packs, man. 40 packs is insane. One, two, three, four, five, six to the front. Let's just make sure this isn't a rare. The rest is cool, but it's not a rare. F Kite Sail Freebooter. Flying. Nice. Sentinel Totem. Bra Morpho Branch Walker, I need it. And then we have a Ripjaw Raptor, which is beautiful. And then, yeah, we don't have anything else in the pack. 
was hoping for. I needed a Ryle for my Enraged Dino deck, but this was an awesome pack. This was this is like two dollars. This is like five or six. Great pack, great value. All right, so we get the root jaw, and I will put these here. And then last pack magic, guys. We got some really good stuff in this. That's some amazing, amazing stuff. Can't even complain. Like, and to think I have thirty more packs to go through. That is just incredible. One, two, three, four, five, six to the front. Make sure this isn't a rare. Okay. Let's see. We have Verdant Rebirth, Ranging Raptors, Call to Feast, and we have a Talani, Talon, Talanali's Shape Skin Shifter. And then, let's see. Soul Spuckling. Hey, didn't this come out on something else? Okay. So the rare, the uncommons. Alright, so we have this pile of unco uh, commons. We have our uncommons. And then we have our just kind of fo random foils and a, a nice common a, a nice common card that's like a dollar still. So this is going to be our little thing here. And then let's just quickly review our rares and mythics. Okay, so we did get two mythics in this box, I mean in this fat pack. So we have a Vas Vasca Valley Seeker, Star of Ext Extinction, Sunburst Invocation, which looks awesome. Isn't this the Rekindling Phoenix? <laughs> Priest of the Waking Sun, Ripjaw Raptor is definitely up front. And then this guy, this, this, this. I feel like this is, this is really good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesomeness. Alright, moving on, guys. Let's get to this. So, our up commons, our uncommons, our wild cards, somewhat wild, and we got a planeswalker mythic. So, that is just beautiful. Raska, she's like the fourth highest worth in this set right now. Let's see how we do in this. One, two, three, four, five, six. The disadvantage of doing it this way is we take away the surprise if we get a search for his canta. So we have Dusk Legion Dreadnought, Wily Goblin. Chart of course, and a Sunbird's Invocation to start things off. And then let's just look quickly through to see if we have, a, have an opt or something. We do not. So, uncommons here, comments here, and let's keep going, guys. Sunbird's Invocation, holy shoot, that's like extra expensive. I remember my very first time opening Ixalan, I had no idea what I was pulling, but now I kind of have a really pretty good idea. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then just to make sure. Okay. We have a Steadfast, Armasaur, Favorable Winds, Bonded Crest, and then we have a this guy. But you don't flip, so why is this randomly inserted in here? Pounce, that's cool. Moving on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure nothing's here. Cool. We have a Navigator's Ruin, Heartless Pillage, Drover the Mighty, always useful. And then we have a Deep Root Champion. Oopsies, almost damaged it. But Ah, nice. Ah, Wayfinder. No foils yet. This box is off to a slow start. But we did get a Raska so far, so I'm not complaining. She's always good for trading and just people are always looking for her.
One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. And then what about you? To rest again. Nothing. Look out. Dispersal. Dispersal. Sorry. Tempest Caller. Thundering Spineback. And we have a Captain Lanary Storm. Dino Token. Ryo New Horizon. Okay. These guys. Sweet. Do you guys like it when I skip through the comments? If so, leave a comment in the section below letting me know so that I can do this for future videos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Check, make sure. Okay. We have makeshift mutinations, thundering spine back, emissary of sunrise, and we have a fervent sun's avatar. Very nice. I don't have that dino yet. Not sure how useful it is, but at least I'm getting the set. Whoa, we're halfway through, guys. Okay, so hopefully the good stuff is in this other half of the box, because this is getting a little worrisome. Halfway through the box magic. Halfway through the fat pat magic. Now this is going to come with a Carnage Tyrant. One, two, three, four, five, six. And not just any Carnage Tyrant. It's going to be a Foil Tyrant. Okay? All right, Stormfleet Arsonist. Slice of Twain is pretty awesome. Oh, no, it's not. It's so expensive to cast. Imperial, Armasaur, and then we have a Shadowed Caravel. Okay, sweet. Never seen that before. And then we have... all. Oh, ooh, Opt. Hello. So we put that here, and then we put these here, and let's move on. So... We gotta get something, right guys? We gotta get something out of this. This is magic. It's gonna come through for us. Like it came through for me in the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where are those damn Ascantas? Emergent growth. Whoa. Target creature gets five heavens of end. Must be blocked this turn if able. Wow. As can as token as Zok at Zokin Archer. Sorry Captain, and then we have a Boneyard Parley. Eh, anything, anything, nada. Oh, but that's uh, one of those Mythics that you don't really want to get. I think it's like a buck or something at best. Alright, last three packs. We're going to get something like a banger. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're definitely going to get a foil in this or something. Is this nope, it's not. Alright, so we have Vine Shaper Mystic, Imperial Lancer, Shaper of Nat Shapers of Nature, and we have a Sorceress Spyglass. Nice. We'll put that here. We'll put the uncommons here. Sort through real quick. I think this is kind of worth something, right? I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, this pack opened real nicely. And then I messed it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure the seventh is in a... Is that Angra? Yes, it is. Alright, Vine Sheeper Mystic. Imperial Lancer. Call of Peace. Sword Pointed Diplomacy. Oh, boy. This was a pretty high and dry... Pretty high and dry uh, box. Fat pack. Compared to what I've opened in the past, I mean, it's really underwhelming. But we'll we'll make it work. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nada. Duskborn Sky Marcher. Bishop of the Bloodstained. Dead Eye Quartermaster. And a spell window. Okay. Air Fleet Porter. And then we got that. We'll put this here. And that was the last pack for this box. Nothing really to look up to. Spell window. Source window. Diplomacy. Sorcerer's Sorcerer's Spyglass. Boneyard Puppy. Shadowed Caravel. Verdant. Verdant Sun's Avatar. Captain. A nice storm. Oops. 
do uh, some presentation, which, by the way, is okay. We got one mythic or whatever, so that's cool. Let's move this up here so that we're gonna open this next, and we will put these up here. Wild card. You're so wild. Okay. Moving on. Ooh, my fingers. Alright, guys. There's got to be a search for Ascanta and Carnage Tyrant in here somewhere, right? We're already halfway through this opening. Not just halfway through a fat pack. We're halfway through the opening. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seventh is... Oh. Sometimes it, it comes with an extra card. Vicious Conquistador. Stormfleet Spy. Oh, Foil Land. That's At Zokin Archer. And we have a Burning Sun's Avatar. Sweet. We have a Foil Land. So Uncommons. Wild cards. I guess that's what I'll call them. Then we'll put the Commons here. And moving on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Belligerent Brontodon, Dinosaur Stampede, Dead Eye Plunder, Plunders, and then we have a Sword Pointed Diplomacy. Ooh, now this is cool. We have a, a rare foil. Kin, uh, Kinjali Sunswing. Very nice. Put that there. Here. And dual shot I already have enough of. And then moving on. Very nice foil. I mean, I guess you'd rather get a rare foil than a... Than a, um... Than a common foil, right? Something like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where's that Ascanta? Definitely should be in here somewhere. Makeshift Munition, Savage Stomp, Marauding Rooter, and we have a Mythic. He's a Mythic? Really? Dire Fleet Ravager? Okay, well, he looks like he's pretty good. Menace and Death Touch? Mm, not bad. Never thought of him as a Mythic, but cool. And then we got another Ryo. Ryo. And what is that? Cancel? Sweet. So, let's see. Navigator's Ruin, Lurking, Chupacabra, Bright Reprezo, and a Gishaf Sun's Avatar. Yes! Got it, finally. Been looking for him. I was thinking about buying one, but, uh, def well, technically I did buy one because I bought this bundle, but you know what I mean. Wild card, Gishaf Mythic, awesome. Finally got him. For the Naya Dinos. Open this up. Oh boy. What well, is up? What is up? You don't want to come out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is this the seventh? No, it's not a rare. Alright, Heartless Pillage. Sleek Schooner. River Sneak. And a Gorging Ceratops. One of the things that you don't want to get. Oh, another Ryle. Awesomeness. So we'll put that here, put these here, and go for it. So now we're halfway through the box. And hopefully it comes through for us. Hopefully, hopefully it comes through for us. So then we got one, two, three, four, five, six. I slowed down a bit because we got a flip card. So we have Rallying Roar, Swampfleet Aerialist, ooh, Unclaimed Territory, yes, 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 yes. And then Legion's Landing is our other pull. 
And we got an up. Uh, wow, what a f what a freaking great pack. What a great pack, guys. Holy cow. So we got opt. We have Legion's Landing. We have an Unclaimed Territory, which is like four bucks right now. Super good trade. A card for trade and to like add value to trades. Nice. And it works for like every tribe. So if you're doing a tribal deck, definitely consider Unclaimed Territory. Because you gotta claim it. Nice. One, two. Whoa, it's stuck. That may be a foil. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then seventh is. Who is this? Oh, yep. We probably got a foil in this pack. Stormfully Air Arsonist. Kumina Speaker. Charging Monster Sword. And our River's Rebuke. Ooh, look. Grim Captain's Call. What a nice foil to have. I like the aura. Okay. So let's look through here real quick. Nothing much really. So we put that here. Put that there. And then we'll move this over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is gonna be to rest. Pillars of Origin, Pillar of Origin, Stormfleet Spy, Ranging Raptor, Old Growth Dryad. Okay, Dryad, Tribe. Is there an opt in here? There is no opt. Next up, we got... Is the seven gonna be no? Nope. So let's see. Kamina Speaker, Otapek Huntmaster, nice Dark Nourishment, and we have a Rootbound Crag. Very nice. First time I'm pulling this from a pack. Yep. Okay, last pack magic, guys. Last pack magic. You know, I was hoping to pull a Sun Petal Grove, actually. I really need some of those. If I ever go Naya Dinosaur. I'll need one of those. Well, of four of those. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Last pack magic, guys. Field of Ruin, another great card. Trove of Temptation. Nice. Thundering Spineback. And another Ripjaw Raptor. Sweetness. Can never go wrong with the Rip Jaws. The Jaws of the Rip. Very lovely. That was a pretty decent box. Alright, let's see. We have Ripjaw, we have Rootbound Crag, Oak Grove, Rebuke, Legion's Landing, Rocket Shot. Hello. Hello. Oh, that was a that was a really dino tastic. That was a pretty pretty dino tastic pack. Gotta say. Gishoth, Ripjaw, Burning Sun Avatar, and Rootbound Crag. What a great way to start off a dino deck, right? Alright, so we'll put this here. We'll put our uncommons over here. Wild cards here. Our commons over here. And we'll move on to the last 10 packs of this opening, of our 40 pack opening. Alright, guys, let's do this. First pack magic Carnage Tyrant. Foil Carnage Tyrant is what we're aiming for, or Foil Search for Ascanta. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is going to be not a Foil. Favorable Winds, Kite Sail Freebooter, Lightning Strike, and a Fell Flagship. Sweet. So, let's put that there. Look through real quick. Not too much. Two, three, four, five, six, seven is not gonna be anything. Inspiring cleric. Right? Okay, inspiring cleric. Siren Storm Tamer. Good stuff. Dead Eye Plunderer. Okay. <gasps> Hostage Taker, yes. 
been wanting a hostage tape for a while now. Finally pulled it. Great start. I don't know why, something tells me that Siren Outlook is worth something, but probably not. Goblin, Emergent Growth, Marvel Branch Watcher, Walker, got it, Rootbound Crag, and a Call to Feast Foil. Pretty cool pack. Rootbound Crag. I'm gonna have a playset of Rootbound Crags. And I have one in my binder, and then I have two from opening these. So maybe I could get a third. I like these Rootbound Crags as well. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, seven is gonna be. Come on, Sir Triskanta. Emergent Growth, Bishop of Bloodstain, Death Gorge Scavenger. I needed one more. <gasps> Ooh, damn. There goes my playset. I got a foil rootbound crag. Ain't that something, guys? Ain't that something? What a great box. Okay. So, definitely gonna take a, take a moment to foil this up. I mean, to sleeve it up. Sorry. Foil it up. How funny. Okay. So nice. And then we shall move on. Halfway through the box? No, after this pack will be considered halfway through. One, two, three, four, five, six. Inspiring Cleric. Dire Fleet Captain. Lightning Strike. And a Walker, Waker of the Winds. Okay. Even when I don't get much in a pack, I'm just like, can you please be a... <laughs> can you please be a, like, foil something or an op? At least up is actually really valuable for a card. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, Carnage Tyrant. Pillars of Origin, Seekers, Squire, Shapers of Nature, and a Regisaur Alpha. Very nice. You could have been foiled though, but you're not. Shapers Apprentice. Sweet. Last four packs. Last four packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is not. So we have deep root wa waters. One, it's gone for bright reprisal and a dream caller siren. Okay. Anything worthy looking at? Not really. Last three packs. Wow, I went through 40 packs awfully quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Feels like there's a foil in here because that was really weird. Felt really weird going, but dinosaur stampede. Thundering Spineback, Sheltering Light, Deep Root Champion, and that is it for this. Anything in here? Nope, nope. Alright, so you go here, you guys come over here, and then we'll put you here. Last two packs. Alright, for the last two pack guys, I'm gonna do the pack trick. So, just in case. And as Kanta wants to come through, we don't get surprised, because we could really use a surprise right now. Last two packs, guys. Last two packs. Alright, so it's one, two to the front. Okay. Now we have Planes. Vampire Token. Sure Strike. Legion's Judgment. 
Skittering Heartstopper, Phantom Fleet Firebrand, Depths of Desire, River Herald Spoon, Demystify, right? Grazing with Tail, Sentinel, Gilded Sentinel, and then the first uncommon is After Unfriendly Fire, Sheltering Light, Air Elemental, Ooh, snapping sail back. Awesome, we needed this. And a settle the wreckage. Hello. You're not um you're not search for Ascanta, but you're one of the much better rares to pull. So that is great. We got another settle the wreckage. Wonderful. Alright, last pack guys. Last pack. Man. No tyrant, no Ascanta. Will they both come in a pack? One as a mythic and the other one as a foil rare? Hmm? <laughs> okay, I'm really dreaming, right? I'm totally dreaming. But I'm pretty sure a... Oh, I took a chunk off that. Pretty sure a pack like that exists out there. Very rare, though, I would imagine. So we gotta bring two to the front, right? To bring two to the front. Hey, that could be an Escanta. It could be. Okay, guys. Vampire Zeal. Vampire's Zeal, sorry. Dead Eye Tormentor. Storm Sculptor. Blossom Dryad. Wind Strider. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Costly Plunder. Fire Cannon Blast. Dire Fleet Interloper. Our first uncommon is a Dusk Legion Dreadnought. Andanto's Vanguard. People say he's very good. Raging Sword Tooth. I need one more. I need it one more. And it looks like we have two. Okay. Okay. Let's see. What can you be? Red. And our final rare of this opening is. Oh, wait. What? No way. Alright. So this must be a flip then. Huh. Okay. Our flip of it is. A primal amulet. Amulet. Another one. Another one. Alright, well, that was a little hope in there because that could have been an Escanta, but it's not. Well, guys, that was it for this opening. Stay tuned. I'm going to look at everything that I got in all the in all the packs, and then I'm going to come up with a profit or loss video, and... We'll go from there. But thank you guys so much for watching. And let me know what you thought of this opening. So there was no Tyrant. No Vraska's Content. But there was a Vraska Relic Seeker. And there wasn't a uh, Search for Ascanta. So those top three price money cards in this set were not pulled. But we did get a Mythic Vraska Relic Seeker. I mean, that's something, right? But yeah, if you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and let me know what you thought of the opening. And if you're an OG, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye, guys.